Hello everyone, and welcome to the Warp Whistle Plays Mario Maker. Uh, today, I'm going to be giving you a few little uh, tips and tricks on Super Mario Maker. So let's just choose Make here, and uh, the first tip I'm going to give We'll view my notifications later. So the first tip I'm going to give is uh, has to do with amiibo. So if you're making a stage, let's turn this into just a regular stage. Uh, so everyone knows that you can scan amiibo in. So if I take my Olimar figure like this, I can scan him in, and he drops into the game, which is cool. So that's one way to get your amiibo, you can drop them in. And when you go to play the stage, that one will turn you into anything. That's just regularly dropping a block. And it turns you into a random character that you've scanned in. And this one allows you to turn into that specific character. However, when you have this mushroom, not a lot of people know that when you tap on it, it actually brings up your full collection. So that's not only Amiibo, but it's also uh, like the question block and the trampoline, things that you've unlocked uh, in the game, like just playing the game. Uh, so if I wanted to specify this as being the Pikmin, then you can do that. Uh, and this is kind of an easy way for you to pick a specific Amiibo before, you know, we even said it on the podcast, we thought you really had to scan in different amiibo every single time you wanted to do this. So this is the trick that's going to save people a lot of time. You can do as many of these as you want, pick as many different amiibo as you want, and uh, yeah, and it's pretty easy. So that's that one. Okay, for our second trick, we are going to put a brick on the ground. Then we're going to grab either a spiky or you can either you can also grab one of these guys and when you shake items they usually turn into something else. Now you can do this with a ton of different items uh, but these two are very very special so you don't always need a, sp uh, a, a block to do this but it's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so here we go, I placed the wrong thing. There, let's place that. And uh, we'll start the stage and I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, you can wear spikies and shell guys as helmets. Now this is featured in the Mario Maker handbook, so a lot of people might know this, but some people might not. So when Colin showed me this trick, in his stage, uh, Spike Head, which is a very good stage. You should go on and play it if you haven't already. Um, I've, I thought this trick was really cool, so I've integrated it into a couple of stages that I played. You can't wear that hat, uh, the helmet, when you're an amiibo character, so you saw it just fly off me when I became a duck hunt. Um, but there it is. So that's that. And. Uh, those guys sadly do not turn into spike helmets, so don't try to use those. Now you may have noticed I'm using the Mario pointer. Now if you click down on either the left or the right uh, control sticks, you can actually change the orientation uh, to both left and right-handed, uh, different pictures, so there's cat paws, dog paws, Mario pointer, the little Mario glove, uh, there's a ton of different stuff. It's kind of cool. So I like the Mario pointer, Colin likes the tiny pointer, um, but that's just another little trick that people might not know. For the last one, um, I'm going to have to leave this gamepad sit for a second, and we'll be back I'll just splice right to it uh, when the last little trick starts. Alright, so as you can see on the screen right now, 
when you leave the game for about 15 minutes or so, you unlock this fly swatting game. Now this game is a throwback to something that was in Mario Paint back on the Super Nintendo. I don't know how many people that watch will remember that game, but uh, when you play this fly swatter game enough, now this is only the second time I've actually played this, but you can actually unlock a builder costume for Mario. Uh, so there's two ways to unlock this game. One is the way that I just showed you where you just put your controller down. You cannot put any input at all in the game. Uh, the other one is it will actually randomly come up when you uh, when you move blocks. Uh, now that one's not really reliable. I've only actually seen that happen once, um, but it is there. So you might randomly just run into uh, this game at some point. So I'm gonna keep on playing this. Game over, apparently. Uh, well, there we go. I guess I didn't beat it this time. I don't have the Mario costume, um, but that's it. That's all our, uh, our tips and tricks. If you have any more, let us know in the comments section and uh, we'll try to do another video to test out any tricks. Definitely hit subscribe if you like this video, if you thought the tips were useful, give us a thumbs up and uh, head on over to our Facebook page where we share some of our levels and some of our, uh, our friends and fans and listeners are, uh, are sharing levels as well. And always head over to the Geek Guru group on Facebook. Uh, we have a great community there that's sharing a ton of levels all the time. Uh, so go, go share yours, test out these tricks. And again, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.